What's up guys, uh, doing something pretty cool today. I actually got a chance to test drive the new Bentley Flying Spur, Continental GT Coupe and Convertible, as well as the new Bentayga. Uh, huge thanks to the guys at Cars and Cognac, Dan and Lee, as well as Holman Motor Cars in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for setting this event up today. Now, instead of going to the dealership like I normally would, uh, this time Holman Motor Cars is bringing all the Bentleys to a private residence. And just like the Aston Martin DBX uh, test drive event, just sign a waiver and then you get to take the cars out, see what they're like to drive, check out all their cool features and technology, and should be a good time. So I'll see you guys there. All right, looks like we're in the right place. There's a bunch of cars parked on the side of the road here. I can see the Bentleys in there. Wow, really nice house. Looks like a new Continental GT is coming out right now. See if we can park. Right here should do it. Car did not like that low grass. All right, I hope you guys can hear me. I have my mask on. Wow, beautiful house. And outside we have the newly facelifted Bentley Bentega. Look at that. Love the new facelift. All right, let's head on inside. Got our waiver here for everyone to fill out to drive the cars. Gonna do a quick walk around to the new Flying Spur, and this is the first edition. Very excited about this one. Thank you to Cars and Cognac and Holman Motor Cars in Fort Lauderdale. Thank you. Look at that, guys. First edition. Finally get to drive the new Flying Spur. And this spec is unreal. Oh my God. See, there's the Union Jack. First edition. Of course, it's the W12, which I believe at the moment, this car is the fastest accelerating sedan in the world. We'll put that to the test. Here comes the Continental GTC. Looks great in that dark green. That is one sharp looking car. Sounds great too. All right guys, so this isn't gonna be a full on in-depth review right now. Really just doing a walk around to the new Flying Spur. This is actually a manufacturer car. So that doesn't mean it's pre-production, but it is one of their test cars. So if it does have any check engine light or any weird lights on, don't worry about it. This is a first edition. See the Union Jack here. And this is just a stunning, stunning car. Of course it has the W12. And being a first edition, you actually get all these special black accents. This incredible paint, which I'll get the name of in a little bit. Here you have the Flying Bee that actually, I believe it illuminates. It has these like uh, crystal or glass looking wings that light up at night. Amazing looking diamond black radiator grill here. You have the sensors or the radar sensors for your adaptive cruise control. These headlights are just pure works of art, if I'm honest. I mean, all these laser etched designs and cuts here. The uh, LED projector is more of like this huge, massive rectangular housing. And of course you have the out outer lights, which are the turn signals. Just, they look amazing. And I don't know if you guys can see this paint in the sun, but it looks unreal especially when paired with this incredible red and black interior. And we're actually gonna take a step inside right now. All 
All right, here we are sitting inside the brand new Bentley Flying Spur. This is the uh, first time I'm sitting in one. Not the first time I'm seeing one in person. I got to see one several months ago, but it was only for a few minutes. And uh, now that I'm sitting inside this one, very, very special. And I am gonna get to drive it in just a moment here. Just wanna take it all in real quick, cause this is just, like I said, I've been waiting for this car to come out. I've been really wanting to check it out. And while I can't review this one today, just don't have enough time. Um, I can't thank Bentley enough and Holman Motor Cars and Cars and Cognac for giving me the chance to take not only this flying spur out today, but a Bentega that's sitting behind this wall here, a Continental GTC and a Continental GT. That's actually the new Bentega over there. Uh, the facelifted version, that's a, pre-production Euro spec version. We cannot take it on the roads, but it is there. It does look pretty. We'll check it out in a little bit. But for the time being, we've got the new Flying Spur. So let's take it out on the road. All right, here we go. There's the facelifted Bentega. Right now we are taking the new Flying Spur out on the road. Should be interesting. All right, here we go. There's a Continental Coupe right there. Right now we are in the Flying Spur. It is incredibly quiet. We have it in Bentley mode. Put the cooled seats on right there. Wow, I instantly feel like I jumped into a pool with my clothes on. We will turn that down a notch. And uh, right now, life is good. Driving the new Bentley Flying Spur. I mean, this is the first edition. And I don't know if it is a pre-production model or what the deal is or if it's just a tester. It does have a check engine light, but the representative from Bentley told me not to worry about that. That just, that kind of thing is gonna be expected in cars like this, uh, whether they're pre-production or they're testers or kind of demo cars. But uh, regardless of the check engine light, everything else in the car is perfect and it's riding just like a Bentley should. I mean, I recently reviewed the Mulsanne, uh, the 2012 Mulsanne, and then I reviewed the Mulsanne Speed and uh, as amazing as that car was, this new Flying Spur is really something else. Just everything, the interior, fit and finishing of everything. Now keep in mind, this is not a full review, just looking around, it's the first time I'm sitting in one. Also, I'll pay attention while driving and uh, just taking everything in. It really is amazing. I mean, look at that back seat, guys. Huge panoramic roof, executive seating, premium leather. There's premium materials everywhere. There's a lot of leather, but there's also metals, wood, all kinds of knurling. Bentley loves their knurling on their knobs, on their uh, AC knobs and the radio knobs and all that. That uh, old style shifter is still there, but not a big deal. Actually looks pretty good, especially in the uh, wrapped leather there with the Bentley B. Lots of Bentley Bs in this car. The logo is pretty much all over the place. Bentley wants to know you're driving a Bentley and uh, you definitely never forget that when driving the new Flying Spur. There you have the blind spot monitoring sensors there. Just it's so quiet in here. I mean, it sounds good on the outside. It is a W12. I'm not sure of the exact horsepower and torque figures, but um, it just, yeah, it just feels effortless. It feels like a, just a, a sled, a rocket sled, I, actually, I should say. All right, here we go. Let's punch it here. Wow. Yeah, this thing has plenty of get up and go. Just effortless power. I have a feeling this is one of those cars where the word effortless is gonna come up a lot. All right, so right now we're gonna drop the Flying Spur down into sport mode. See how the throttle response is. Got the full digital gauge cluster right here. Displaying the speed and the driving mode on the left. We have the map in the middle, tachometer on the right, and it's fully configurable. You can really have whatever you want. You can just uh, change your view, stuff like that, have the full map. But uh, right now we're gonna give it a little gas here. Wow, once, I mean, in Bentley mode, it was driving nice, it was smooth. Uh, throttle response wasn't that good. I put it into sport mode and just completely woke up the car. Totally unreal acceleration. As I was saying earlier, this is apparently the quickest accelerating sedan in the world right now. Uh, haven't tried to launch yet. Let me see how many miles are on this car, actually. I don't really wanna beat the crap out of it. Looks like it's got uh, 873 miles on the clock. Just on some gentle sweepers right now. Still in sport mode. The car is riding unbelievably well. As an undercover cop goes by. 
Nothing to see here, just driving a manufacturer plate uh, Bentley Flying Spur. <laughs> Love the frameless mirror. Just overall incredible interior. I mean, nothing nothing less than you'd, you'd expect from a Bentley, especially a new one. And as soon as we take this back to the house in a few minutes, we're gonna uh, return it to the people at Bentley that we're gonna take out either the Continental GT or Continental GTC or both. Honestly, I've got all day. When it comes to driving Bentleys, definitely cleared my schedule. <laughs> it's actually starting to rain a little bit here, which is not a problem. Of course, these uh, Bentleys are all equipped with a special all-wheel drive system. Basically, Audi or VW Quattro, all the same thing, but bulletproof, reliable all-wheel drive system. You really just can't beat it. All right, just getting back with the Flying Spur. Here we are. Wow, what an awesome house, especially pulling up to it in this car. All right, guys, as you can see, it is pouring right now. Actually, it was raining a lot harder a second ago, but uh, I'm not exactly complaining. Got these three beautiful Bentleys in front of us. And uh, actually, so as far as I understood, there was a new Bentayga and an old one, but there's actually two new ones here. So they are letting people drive the new one. So I'll definitely have to check that out. And uh, right now we're just waiting for the weather to clear. I really wanted to take the uh, British Racing Green GTC out. However, uh, the coupe will do just fine or even the convertible with the top up. And I definitely want to drive that, uh, the new Bentayga. So just waiting for the rain to clear up. All right, it looks like the rain is all but stopped. They kind of moved the cars back over here. There's the Continental GTC. Here's the GT Flying Spur. They're just wiping down the cars. The weather hasn't exactly been on our side. Ben is out here sitting in the sun. Now, I don't know why I was under the impression that they only had one new one here. I know we can't drive this one, but I thought that the one that was out, that was being driven was an older one, but they actually do have an, uh, a newer one here. It's actually this amazing blue purple color. And we actually are able to drive this. So hopefully in a little bit, I'll be able to get behind the wheel of this. Yeah, this new Bentayga is really something special. I love what they did with the whole redesign. All right, now I'm gonna take the new Continental GTC out for a drive. This lovely green. They say it's not British Racing Green, even though it's pretty much identical, which is, I'll find out the name later, but uh, here we go. And this is just like the Flying Spur, a first edition, very cool. All right, here we go. Wow, right off the bat, this amazing green interior. Got the push start button here. Of course, we gotta put down the top. Also love this button. This just by pressing this button here, you can switch around the screen. You can have just the uh, classic aircraft style gauges, outside air temperature, the uh, compass, and then the, uh, the clock here. Press the screen again. Takes you back to the navigation. It's like a three-part folding screen. It's really cool. Same gauge cluster as in the Flying Spur. Largely the same interior as far as technology, creature comforts goes. A little bit different appointments like this. Uh, machined aluminum here that's kind of like ridged is absolutely incredible. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And the green leather interior, unlike the red in the Flying Spur, this is just very, very nice. All right, before I take it out for a drive, just gonna do a quick walk around. Once again, this is not gonna be a full in-depth review. Hopefully in the coming months, I'll get the chance to do that. For the time being, just a quick walk around. As you can see, the front end design is very similar to that of the Flying Spur. It's kind of Bentley's new corporate face. You have those incredible almost sculpted headlights where it's just the uh, the laser cut, the glass, it looks like just diamonds, honestly. And this amazing paint, which honestly looks identical to British Racing Green, but it has another name. Um, this is a first edition, so you get all the special black trim and all the carbon fiber here on the uh, side skirt. Amazing interior, have this kind of like oyster 
lightly colored leather, like a beige with the uh, dark green throughout, and you have the uh, green contrast stitching. This quilted leather is just amazing. The uh, green Bentley logos in the seats. As you can see, the Continental GT has undergone a complete redesign. New taillights, new front and rear fascias, everything. Love this quad exhaust, carbon fiber rear diffuser. Of course, it is a uh, manufacturer car, so if you see any weird things like check engine lights, like on the Flying Spur, this is not a full-on production car. And uh, this is actually the first time ever that it says Bentley on the back of the vehicle. Pretty cool. And actually, if you press that in, it opens the trunk, just like before. Pretty sizable trunk for being uh, such a large convertible. Press it again. Power closing trunk. And you can see we have the top down right now. Hopefully the uh, weather cooperates with us. It was pouring earlier, but uh, hopefully it gives us just a little bit so we can uh, drive with the top down and experience that. All right, looks like the uh, flying spur is back. I don't know if he wants to go this way or if he wants, just wants to pull in. There he goes. Of course, we have the new Bentegas sitting out front, looking very lovely. You know what? I see the rain is starting to come down. I don't want to push my luck. We're going to put the roof up right now. Because that storm is coming back and I uh, don't want to have to flood a new pre-production Bentley. That would not look good for, for me. Windows go up. Full power operation. Yeah, it's starting to rain. I don't want to take my chances. Plus we can see just how quiet this uh, soft top convertible really is. And it's, I think it's lined similar to the S-Class Cabriolet. It's lined with like a cashmere or uh, something like that. Some very nice material. So right now we're gonna head out of the driveway here. Step on it real quick. And of course the second that I hit the gas starts pouring, but of course with that amazing all wheel drive system, uh, zero spin or slip, no drama, 100% traction. And um, I will say it is a little bit louder in here than in the Flying Spur, but it makes sense. It doesn't have that uh, steel roof over us. It's a smaller car. And uh, actually, it does ride just as nice. I'm not sure how that's possible. Although I do have it in the Bentley mode, which just like in the Flying Spur, it'll basically have the best of each setting for you. So the, what it thinks is right for the uh, ride quality at the time, throttle response and everything else. Wow, guys, so it is absolutely pouring right now not exactly top-down weather here in south florida today i'm behind this dump truck haven't really been able to get on it in the new continental gtc we'll uh, get on the road here in a second and see what it's got not going to push it too hard it is very very wet out i love that that's probably my favorite thing about the new continental gtc i uh, definitely want to turn off start stop that is a horrible feature Yeah, the rain is really coming down today. But I'm in a brand new Bentley, so life's not all that bad. All right, here we go. Like I said, not gonna get on it too hard. It's very wet out. I wish the weather was a little better today and we can drive with the top down, but honestly, can't complain. All right, right now I'm just cruising in the Continental GTC in Bentley mode, have the top up. It's incredibly smooth and quiet in here. Just like a Bentley should be driving. Honestly, I'm not even sure this car really needs a full review. Uh, what can I say? I mean, it's a Bentley. It's a new Bentley. The craftsmanship in here is second to none, just like every other Bentley ever. Um, just like the Flying Spur, the materials in here are amazing. The colors in this interior are very fitting. And uh, really, that's honestly all I can say. It drives just like you'd expect a Bentley to, better than anything else on the road. Uh, plenty sporty, but also very luxurious really doesn't get much better. Now uh, I'm gonna take this back and uh, we'll see if we can get into the new Bentega. That should be interesting. Hey guys, so I just uh, brought the GTC back, the uh, V8 GTC. Do a quick walk around right here. As you guys can see, it is not really a complete redesign. It's more of a heavy facelift. All new headlights, very similar to the new corporate face of the Flying Spur, as well as the Continental. So you have the, uh, these like amazing diamond etched or kind of like laser cut uh, headlights here. 
the radar sensors for the cruise control, all the chrome bright work. This is not a special edition or anything. However, it is a really, really nice paint. Actually, the color on this red one is also amazing. Going down the side here, this is the V8. There is going to be a W12 variant. However, we have the V8 one today. Coming around the back. Now the rear is also a heavy facelift and the taillights are now completely on the lift gate. So if you press that, it opens up. And the uh, taillights go all the way up with the, with the lift gate. And uh, there's actually a second set of taillights down here. Actually, I'll show you real quick. So it's a little flooded here in the driveway. Wow, look at this purple interior, guys. That is amazing. So if I press the hazard lights, soft closed doors, of course. So you guys can see here, the hazard lights are actually switched over to the bottom. And if I close the lift gate, and it switches up to the top. So that's kind of a safety thing. If you're on the side of the road and you have your lift gate up and you have the hazard lights on, you'll always have a visible set of lights. Very, very cool. All right, stepping inside the new Bentley Bentayga. Turn the hazard lights off. You have the push to start button right here. Now listen to the sound of this fountain just disappear. Ready? Soft closed doors. Can't even hear it. Gone. Right now, compared to the uh, outgoing Bentayga, this is uh, pretty similar. I would call it a heavy facelift. Do love this full digital gauge cluster. Love this purple exterior color. You have the uh, Bentley B kind of reversed here in the air vents. You have the clock, full glass panoramic roof. I love these uh, two-tone Molnar style purple and black seats. You have the uh, name by Bentley audio system. Right now, we're gonna take it out for a drive. Got the other Bentayga right there. At least for the time being, the rain has stopped. So uh, hopefully weather's on our side for now. All right, guys, right now we are taking out the brand new Bentley Bentayga. See if we can wiggle it out of the driveway here. They kind of put it in a very interesting position here with the uh, other Bentega. All right, we managed to get out. It is a very, very large vehicle, but it has the latest in uh, 360 degree high definition cameras. So just like that, we are out. Now this obviously is not a sports car like the Continental GT and GTC. Uh, it's not a super sedan or super saloon like the Flying Spur. It's a big, heavy luxury SUV. Uh, it's not a crossover, it is actually an SUV, it competes with the Porsche Cayenne, the uh, Cadillac Escalade, Mercedes GLE, GLS, basically every other luxury SUV on the market. And uh, right now, we are out here in South Florida, driving on some nice uh, backcountry roads. Once again, thank you to Holman Motor Cars and Bentley Motors, of course, and, and the guys at Cars and Cognac, Dan and Lee, for uh, allowing me to be part of this test drive event today. Very, very cool awesome opportunity and uh, it actually turns out that the flying spur that I drove earlier is the very same one that I got to see in Miami uh, before the start of COVID it was uh, around the end of last year or actually I believe it was, yeah it was around the fall toward end of summer beginning of fall last year I saw it in Miami uh, it was a very very brief interaction I got to see it for about five minutes take some pictures did not get to see the inside and uh, I never would have thought that um, not much later about I would say about a year later actually that I got to drive that very same car. It is a uh, pre-production uh, Flying Spur first edition, but basically identical to what a production car would be that you can uh, buy from the showroom. And uh, right now, I'm kind of stuck behind this pickup truck, but really can't complain in the new Bentega. It is driving amazingly. And um, I really just love this purple color. You can see it on the mirror here, There's, uh, the purple leather on the inside of the steering wheel, on the dashboard, the seats, it is just it's just lovely. Just as nice as the Continental GT, uh, the GTC that I drove, and there's also the Coupe, the W12 Coupe, and the uh, the W12 Flying Spur. This, however, is the V8, 4 liter V8, that is in the uh, Audi RS Q8, uh, even the Lamborghini Urus, and uh, the Porsche Cayenne, and the Cayenne Turbo and Turbo S. 
And right now I am loving the new Bentega. All right, out here on the main road, I have the Bentega in Bentley mode, similar to the other Bentleys I've been driving today. And uh, like I was saying earlier, that is really just the best possible mode to have in a Bentley. It's where the car can configure the driving setting to its liking and what it thinks is appropriate depending on the situation. Um, so right now it's just riding so soft. I mean, this Bentley air suspension, it's firm where it needs to be and soft where it needs to be. I don't know if that even makes sense, but it is just an absolute joy to live with and drive. Um, it is a lot better than the first generation Bentayga that I reviewed uh, last year. Honestly, in a lot of ways, the ride quality, the uh, transmission engine, the, the powertrain just feels better, smoother, more responsive. I don't even have it in sport mode. I'm gonna leave it in Bentley mode for now. But yeah, just very, very smooth, great throttle response. We're gonna test the turning radius right now. Great turning radius. Step on it here. Love the sound of that four liter twin turbo V8. This uh, digital gauge cluster is a little bit different than in the Continental GT. I don't know if that's just because it's a newer design or just as a different skin or uh, view that I have right now, but uh, it's very nice. I just love how it only highlights the part of the uh, speedometer or the speed range that you're up to. So we're doing about 45, 50 here, and uh, it's only highlighting up to that. Same with the RPMs, but if I step on it, you see the RPMs shoot up. And there's just a great, great uh, crystal clear graphics here. You see the uh, map in the middle. Of course, I can change the view. Have the uh, map there. I can go back. Have all sorts of things. Can have our phone information. That was the uh, radio. Don't want to get a copyright. Is our uh, adaptive cruise control settings, distance alert. That's our uh, air air uh, air pressure in the tires. Compass. Back to the navigation. Honestly, it's just a joy to drive this thing. Turn around in the parking lot real quick. I gotta say the uh, steering response is very sharp. It's only in uh, Bentley mode right now. I'll try sport mode. Actually, the steering just tightened up a little bit. Suspension's a little firmer. And I don't know if it's just uh, just me or I, I think I can hear the exhaust valves open up. So uh, get on it right here. Oh, it sounds good. Actually, it reminds me of the old Audi RS7. Sounds very very good. Steering response is great. Honestly, for a big SUV, and I should say a big heavy SUV, this thing is well over 5,000 pounds. Uh, it handles itself very well, it hides that weight. Now, it's not like a new sports car at all. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a race car. But at the end of the day, it is a very, very nice sporty SUV, very luxurious, of course. Bentleys have always been on the sporty side of uh, luxury vehicles, whereas Rolls Royces are very luxurious. There's hardly anything sporty about them. They don't even have tachometers. Um, once again, I just love this Volt digital gauge cluster. I kind of wish that this uh, new Bentega had the same like three part rotating screen that the Flying Spur or uh, yeah, I think it's yeah, the Flying Spur and, and also the Continental GT has. Um, but nonetheless, it's a nice newly updated uh, infotainment system. Wow, 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 wow. Amazon van almost took me out in the new Bentega. That was bad. He was not paying attention. And while this isn't a full in-depth review of the new Bentega, um, hopefully in the coming months when more of these start to hit the dealerships, this is a pre-production uh, model. However, I hope to get my hands on one soon to do an uh, extended road test and really go through the uh, exterior and interior for you guys. But for the time being, once again, thank you to Holman Motor Cars and Bentley Motors for allowing me to drive this assortment of new Bentley models today. The weather hasn't really been on our side for most of the day, but it's actually pretty nice out right now. Now I'm gonna return this Bentega to the house and uh, that should do it for this video. All right, guys, well, that should do it for this video. Once again, thank you to Bentley Motors, Holman Motor Cars, and the guys at Cars and Cognac for inviting me out today to test drive all these amazing new Bentley models. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.